Okay, so hi guys, this is Miss Lollipop and welcome back to another one of my videos or welcome to my channel if you are new. <laughs> I'm actually going to be showcasing 10 mods for realism and better gameplay. So obviously, let's be real here. We all know that The Sims 4 is kind of lacking um, in content in some aspects. There's things that they could have developed on. Um, there was things that, you know, kind of got missed out. Luckily, we have some amazing modders in our community that have come up with mods that can improve the gameplay within The Sims 4 uh, because apparently EA can't do it. Shade. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. They do a great job, but there's obviously some things that are missing. So we do need mods um, to sort of spice up the gameplay a little bit. So I suppose that is why you are here. So we'll go ahead and jump right into it, but if you are new and you are interested in sticking around and watching any of my series, I've got a few series running on the channel right now, being the Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge, I've got a Legacy Challenge going on as a live stream series. I've also got a Runaway Teen Challenge and Big Sister Challenge as well, like crossover between the two. So if you're interested in watching any of those, go ahead and click the subscribe button and stick around um, if you're interested in watching any of my videos on this channel. And if you're interested in downloading any of the mods that I, you know, showcase in this video, go ahead and head to the description. Links will all be there and any sort of information you need about the mods. But let's go ahead and hop right into our first mod, the Wicked Whims mod. So I know what you're thinking, guys. You know, the Wicked Whims mod is known for being the nasty mod, if you get what I'm saying. It's for like all the weird sex animations, stuff like that. It's a little, little, uh, you know, not PG friendly, should we say, which is fine because we go ahead and what I've got is obviously because I'm a YouTuber and a streamer, I can't go ahead and just have my Sims like, you know, chilling on the worktop and you know getting all their hoochie out and you know we don't need to see all the birds and the bees you know we don't need to see all of that stuff so what i've done is i've actually gone ahead and suggested this mod to you as wicked whims because there is loads and loads of good features that come in wicked whims um but obviously i've gone ahead and added the streamer tuner so there is an option for you to download it on the uh wicked whims website it's basically a mod that gets rid of all the inappropriate things about this mod should we say so for example normally in wicked whims if you have your sim go shower for example your sim would just straight up get in the shower naked you know you'd see you'd see all the bits okay you'd see all of it okay and we don't need to see all the bits because we're trying to keep this game pg friendly we don't need to see all the bits okay it's just unnecessary at the moment if you're interested in seeing all the bits you don't have to go ahead and download it but like you know if you if you're like me and you don't want to see all the bits um then what we can go ahead and do is actually have our husband over here ethan hollis he's gonna go and quickly take a shower and show it off to you so this is obviously me basically showing you that you can get the streamer mod which basically means it still keeps all the pixelation nobody's naked you know he's got a cigarette in his hand but that's just that's completely separate that's not to do with this um so yeah he's you know he's he's clothed there's no inappropriateness to it that's what the, you know that's the way we like it that's why we want to keep it but mainly the best features about this mod that we want to go ahead and showcase one the biggest feature that i love about wicked whims is the personalities that it gives so he's got the lover personality and also the hero personality so this adds different sort of um personalities within within the game which will make the sims act differently so for example he's a lover which means he craves intimacy he lives to experience pleasure and are very passionate so for example if he hasn't you know done any romance or he hasn't like flirted with somebody recently he will get like a little bit upset about the fact that he hasn't done that which is quite cool um so it does like obviously change your gameplay which i really really like it gives the sims a bit more personality because right now sims are so stagnant like they're just they're just like the empty shells and they need to be filled with something and this filling is wicked whims <laughs> um okay we don't need to go into all of that but either way yeah personality is such a big one one of the biggest reasons that i personally have wicked whims is because it adds the attractiveness now, you would have seen that there was like an attractiveness system where basically a sim would walk over to another sim and find them really attractive so for example we have mila over here um Mila, if we go ahead and hover over um, Ethan, she finds him extremely attractive. So whenever she's around him, she gets the flutters, you know, she's really into him. Um, you know, that all comes with the Wicked Wind system. It's like a, you know, attractive system, which I personally really, really love. 
Um, and that's the reason that I mainly have Wicked Women's installed for the personality and also the attractiveness system. Um, and any single time that they see a sim that they're really attracted to, it will give you a notification. I really, really like that. It also means that when they're more attractive, um, they'll get in a flirty mood. They'll be able to develop their relationship with that sim more. There's just loads and loads of good features about it. Obviously, Wicked Whims is a much more developed mod than this. There is loads of different features to it. But these are the two main features that I personally use it for. And obviously, I'm not going to go ahead and showcase all the nasty business that comes with it. Um, so obviously there's the personality, so that is like the main reason that I have it within my game. But to go ahead and show you off like a feature of the attractivity. So if we have Mila come over here and talk to Ethan, she can actually come over and in the romantic section, she can actually ask about his attractive dislikes. So this will go ahead and um, she will go ahead and ask him what he finds unattractive on a sim. And if he wants to go ahead and tell her... Um, depending on obviously how close they are, he's gonna go ahead and say white hair, auburn hair, he doesn't like ghosts, uh, ghosts. he doesn't like um, outfits that are red and he doesn't like outfits that are blue either. So that is basically some things that he wouldn't like. So if your sim has any of those, the attractivity will start going down on the scale, which I think is really cool, which luckily Mila doesn't have any clothing like that or any hair colors, that's why he still finds her attractive. But I'd say I've covered everything that I want to for this one. Obviously I wanted to show you the personality and stuff within this game. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the second mod which is called choose your roommate and it is made by little miss sams so this mod is actually a really really cool mod i've got it for university so basically what we can go ahead and do is we if we go ahead and have mila she's already put a notification out to roommates to advertise them but what this means is instead of having a random roommate that turns up that you obviously have to like you know give a makeover especially for me i use a lot of alpha cc you know i don't want no maxis match basic bitch sims coming along hitting up my world so um, I can actually go ahead and choose the roommate that I want. So if I go ahead and uh, head over here, um, and this is obviously a mailbox, this works on any normal lot, you know, any any other lot it would work on. Um, but obviously this is on a, you know, apartment. You always have to make sure that you've got an extra bed, otherwise you won't be able to put the notification out for the roommates. But if we go ahead and click over here, we can choose a roommate. So you've got the list of every single person in the world that is available to you. So if, for example, say I want... Okay, so say we're going to go ahead and choose a roommate. Let's go ahead and actually choose uh, Nevaeh, which is my new sim for my legacy challenge. We'll go ahead and choose her. So Nevaeh is now our roommate, which obviously means that she can come in here and, you know, live and she'll, you know, she'll go about our apartment. She will, um, you know, use our bed. She'll sleep here. Whatever bed you assign to her, obviously, you have to wait for her to turn up. She might be busy right now. She might be at work or anything. She'll go about. She'll live her life. She'll do all of her things. She'll come in. She'll make food. She'll do everything that a normal roommate will do, except you get to pick them, which is absolutely perfect. Later on in the video, she might end up turning up, um, but obviously, right now, she must be a little bit busy, so she's not going to turn up just yet. But I do guarantee you that this mod works, and it also does work in dorms as well. If you've got Discover University and you want to go ahead and pick your dorm mates, this this would also work by doing that and if you want to go ahead and remove a roommate you can just go back over here and click remove a roommate and you can just deselect that sim that you've selected already and it will go ahead and get rid of them so that was about it for this mod um obviously it was a little small mod but definitely something that is nice to have especially for choosing gameplay love the fact that it, you know increases the creativity with your gameplay um, and allows you to be a bit more customized within your game so the third mod that we are going to move on to is the zuru mod so this mod is again made by Little Miss Sam's. It is like a rendition. It was already made by somebody else. I have included this in a video before, but obviously it always deserves a bit of a showcase, especially when we're looking at most realistic mods. If we go ahead and have Mila come over to the computer, we can come over here and actually click ap apply for credit. So for example, if I want to go ahead and actually have her apply for a... £2,500 credit. Maybe she wants to buy a new car. I don't know. Maybe she maybe she wants filler. I don't know what she wants. Anyways, she's gonna go ahead and apply for a quick credit because obviously she doesn't have she doesn't have a lot of money in the bag, does she? She needs she needs extra money, okay? Regardless of the situation, she needs money. She's gonna go ahead and apply for that credit. There we go. And two thousand five hundred has now been added to our Somalian bank. Thank you for using our credit offer. The documents are located in Mila's inventory. So if we go ahead and head into her inventory now, we've now got a two thousand five hundred pound credit agreement. So this loan, if we wanted to go ahead and like straight up pay it off now. So what this means is £250 has been added on top as um, credit because of the fact that obviously we took the credit out. So you, if you wanted to repay the whole loan now, you would have to pay £250 on top of the amount of money that she is owed. Gradually, what this will do, if you don't want to go ahead and click the repay loan, 
it will take a certain amount of money out of your sims at bank every single day um so you'll get like a small amount taken it might be like 50 to 100 simoleons um, and you'll get a small amount taken every single day out of your account um sort of like a you know a bank loan so it's like a credit basically this whole like a loan is you know it's a whole loaning system but you can go ahead and apply for different types of credit which is really cool so if you want to go ahead and like take a fifty thousand pound credit you can go ahead and buy you know a house with it or something like that that's really really good for like decorating houses but that is basically it it's really really useful for actually buying houses so if you ever need to like upgrade and you're waiting to buy a house maybe Maybe your sim has an unexpected baby and you're like oh my god i can't fit a room in this apartment or whatever house you've got um, and you need to go ahead and buy a new house maybe you need to take out a fifty thousand pound credit and then eventually just gradually pay it back and i think we're gonna go ahead and move on to our fourth mod of the video so the next mod that i'm gonna go ahead and showcase is the slice of life mod and obviously this mod is basically always showcased with um realism and better gameplay videos because honestly it adds so so much to the game so for example, we have little Mila over here because Mila is an absolutely stunning sim. So Mila um, can go ahead and click on herself and we can click slice of life. So in here we have a few different settings. We have turn-ons, we have personality modifiers, we have um, we have drunk buffs and stuff like that. We have talents that they could get. You know, she can be socially talented, creatively, mentally, blah, 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 blah. We have NPC invites. You know, you, these will be when NPCs will invite you to parties and stuff like that. Um, we've got some body care. So this mod also introduces periods for sims so right now mila is going to be having her period in seven days time um she will have her period every 12 sim days and it will last for two days and when they get to an elder they will no longer get their periods because obviously elder sims can't have children anymore so this is really really cool to have within your game one obviously when your sim actually comes on their period you will have to go ahead and click slice of life in body care you can either buy them an anti-period pill which basically prevents a menstrual cycle for 30 days which means that obviously your sim won't have their period for 30 days which is really really useful or if you want to go ahead and just let them have their period you can just click on them and click solve cycle and it'll go ahead and pop a tampon in or grab some medicine if they've got like different sort of effects they might go ahead and get a headache or they might get a really sore stomach from having their period we've also got her phone the phone one is the main one that i've been using quite a lot you can go ahead and click on the inbox you can actually ask people for food and ask people for money uh, but we'll go ahead and look at some other different things so we can also call people ugly we can call them we can send them new photos we can send people money we can send other people food um we can send compliments basically just send loads of different texts to other people so if you guys have got get famous which obviously includes the whole uh, followers situation where they get like simstagram followers we can go ahead and actually check what's trending and interact with followers and if we go ahead and like click interact with followers we might have the opportunity to get some more followers or gain more followers so if you've got the get famous mod then obviously that will also be included and now she's on the road to fame because obviously she interacted with her followers so that is a really really cool feature we've also got some other stuff such as pills you can go ahead and take some like weird pills that give you different side effects stuff like that we've also got shopping so we can send our sim out to go buy a wig honestly this mod is so developed um i think i've covered more than enough with this mod but obviously there is loads of different stuff so if you want to go ahead and grab it into your game um you will you know see loads of different stuff happening in your game um so many stuff too much stuff for me to go over in this video i'd be here forever but definitely a good good mod to have for better gameplay it's probably one of my must have mods i would never take it out of my game now that i've got it but let's go ahead and move on to our fifth mod which is also by kawaii stacy and it is called the basic right. events bundle one and two so if we go ahead and plan an event now you can do this by your phone or if you've got seasons you can go ahead and do it by the calendar we're going to go ahead and plan an event and we've now got loads and loads of different events. Some of them are free, some of them cost you some money. So for example, um, inviting somebody over. So if you wanna invite multiple people to your house, you can go ahead and select this and invite loads of different people. We've also got beach parties as well. So this, this obviously you can throw a beach party. This one can be a hangout. You can go ahead and set a hangout spot for teenagers or young adults. We've also got a karaoke night, so we can have loads of people turn up for that. We've got a family reunion, which means that you can gather all your family members to have a big reunion, which is really, really cool. So we've also got stay the night, which allows another sim to come over and stay the night. So if you want to go ahead and have some sort of like teenage sleepover, you can go ahead and invite loads of people to come over and stay, set them up some beds in your living room and have them all stay over. That would be really cool. You've got a teen study group, which allows you to study with, um, allows you to study with other sims as well. 
Uh, you can also go on dates as well and you can do barbecues, which is really cool. All of these events actually come with the basic events bundle one and two. So if you want, you know, any of these ones, you have to go ahead and download both of them. Each one obviously has different events in them, uh, but they're really, really good for throwing more parties. It allows you to easily get everybody together to sort of throw a nice little party um, at different venues that normally most um, most of the in-game parties, they're very, very selective on the amount of venues that they'll allow you to go to, which is quite cool that these allow you to be a lot more flexible with your venues. We're going to go ahead and move on to our sixth mod, which is the base mental alcohol mod. Okay, so we've just had our sims turn up to a club and oh my god, this uh, bartender's looking rough girl i mean like i don't know how much long i don't know how much longer she's gonna last but either way before she pops her clogs <laughs> um we're gonna go ahead and actually have mila go ahead and order a drink so we can order a drink for the group obviously this is all normal um let's go have her order a drink so now a lot of the alcohols have changed because obviously these are all drinks so we now have a gym fizz we have a long island iced tea we have a root beer float gin and tonic mimosa so what this mod allows your sims to do is actually to get tipsy to get drunk um, and also to get hangovers so we didn't have any sort of like alcohol you know related things we never had any like sort of juiced feelings like we had in the sims 3 and i found that we were really lacking in the whole juice thing i was like well what is really the point in going and getting a drink from the bartender there was like no point in going and getting a drink um but now obviously we can go ahead and actually get her a drink and if she goes ahead and gets tipsy she might end up getting like flirty as well so different sort of moodlets come from being tipsy or drunk obviously if she's drunk she's gonna walk a little bit differently she's gonna be really dizzy so let's go ahead and let her finish on off her bridge port we've now got the moodlet from mila and she is feeling tipsy so this makes her plus too happy. She's feeling slightly inebriated. So if we go ahead and leave it like this, obviously when she goes home, she's not gonna have a hangover. You know, there'd be no need for her to have a hangover because she hasn't drunk that much. But she also now has a feeling flirty because got game like an alcohol induced Casanova. So as you can see, because she's feeling tipsy, she's also feeling a little bit flirty as well. But say we wanna go ahead and have her drink a little bit more. Say she goes and goes a little bit crazy. We'll go and have her order another drink. Okay, so Mila's just gone ahead and finished her second drink. And as you can see, she is now feeling drunk. And it says, go home, Mila, you are drunk. So now she is feeling drunk. So if she was to go to sleep feeling drunk, she would um, definitely wake up with a hangover because obviously she is, you know, quietly in, quite inebriated, shall we say. Um, so yeah, she would be, she would have, end up having a hangover. She'd end up being quite sick tomorrow morning. And because she is feeling drunk, she also has a really like funny walk as well, as if she is drunk. So she also feels like a little bit dizzy. So she's got her head hanging low. She ends up having like this walk because she is drunk, sort of like this dizzy look, which is really cool as well but we're gonna go have a head home and put herself to bed um and she's probably gonna end up waking up with a hangover unfortunately but she did this to herself <laughs> gonna go ahead and move on to the oh my god what the hell is this plate doing what the hell that's not a plate that's a bowl what is that bowl doing it's floating in the air okay so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the seventh mod this is zero's improved relationships mod for the improved relationships, we've got a few more interactions with people. So for example, we've got the option to go ahead and express our love for Mila as well, which is really cool. So we've got a few more interactions in the romantics bar, which obviously um, allows you to be a bit more developed with your gameplay. This mod is a bit of a difficult effect to actually show you. So although it includes a few different features such as express love for your sim and stuff like that, a few different interactions in the romantic bar, mainly it's a case of like if your sim and if your sim and another sim have fallen in love, for example, and they haven't interacted for like a few weeks, your sim's romantic bar will end up gradually slowing down. So obviously, I don't know if you know, but like, you know, you know, for example, you've got a sim, right? And they've gone on dates with like multiple people. They've gone on these dates. They end up still being in love with like the person that they went out with when they were like in school or something like that. And they end up still being like, you know, love like they end up being like the full the full romance bar even though they haven't spoken in weeks like they haven't spoken in like sim years so it doesn't really make sense the mod this mod actually gradually decreases their romantic bar um which the game currently does not so if your sims have fallen sort of apart and they're not really communicating they've not been flirting with each other for a long time gradually your sims are just going to drift apart and by the end of it they're not going to have any romance bar which is a lot more realistic considering sometimes you're an elder and you have like this random sim that just invites you out on a date and they're like oh i'm you know i'm so in love with you and you're like i haven't spoken to you for like years and it's just really weird that they would go and do that because to be honest your, your romance bar like would shouldn't even be there anymore
anymore. You shouldn't even have like a romance with that person anymore if you haven't interacted them with them for such a long time. So that's what this mod obviously introduces. It's a little bit difficult to show you in game, but I can guarantee that that is the case. But obviously if you want to read any more about it, I will include a link to the mod's website so you can go ahead and have a look at it. So next up, we've also got Zero's pointless sharing mod, which basically allows you to share more than just big news. For example, if your sim gets pregnant, obviously, you know, normally you can have them share big news. So for example, now Mila has actually just been promoted. She is now level two in the barista um, in the barista career. She can actually now go ahead and talk to Ethan. So in the friendly option, she can actually go and share news about her promotion. So it adds a few different interactions, things like things like if you've gone ahead and placed a masterpiece, if you've gone ahead and got in relationships, if you've got married, anything like that. If you want to go ahead and share the news and let somebody know about it, it's a really, really cool to go ahead and obviously inform other sims about it and it increases their romance bar. Any more interactions in this game is also useful because to be honest, by the time that I played this game for what, like four, it's been like five or six years that I've been playing this game for now. It's like the interactions do really get quite stale. So to be honest, anything that includes new interactions, I will absolutely love. So this pointless sharing mod, although it's small, is really, really nice to have because obviously you want to go ahead and tell your other sims that you've gone ahead and get promoted. It's just nice for them to know. Um, and you want to go ahead and obviously get a little bit of a compliment and get a little bit of a, get a, little bit of a boost. Mod. So the ninth mod on this list is actually going to be the IR cheating mod. So what this is, is it basically is an improved cheating system. So for example, we have Ethan over here. Ethan. Okay, so we can have Ethan actually come over here and promise to be faithful to Mila. So if you lie about being faithful, you will get no penalty, but you're still a bad sim if you do. So there is some solidity in their relationship. She definitely feels like he's not going to go anywhere. He's not going to go and cheat. And he's going to go ahead and hold her hands and let her know. So he's now gone ahead and actually told her that he will be faithful to her. So let's say, for example, Ethan's gone out um, and he's found himself a new woman. So Ethan is unfortunately cheating on Mila. So he's going to go ahead and actually try for a baby with Nevaeh, who is obviously the roommate. We're going to go ahead and try for a baby in her bed. So obviously, once he's gone ahead and like tried for a baby with her, obviously he still has like a romantic bar with her as well. So currently they are roommates and they are also lovers as well. So obviously they've been like flirting around. I'm going to go ahead and um, let him unfortunately get on with the deed. I'm so sorry, Mila. She's literally in the other room taking a bath and they are woohooing like in in her bed that she bought literally over there like oh my god girl you need to you need to make the most of that bath because i'm telling you right now you are not going to be feeling relaxed after this goes down so ethan you dog um get out of the bed <laughs> and come over and talk to mila so now that obviously Ethan has cheated, we can actually go ahead and break the promise to be faithful to Ethan. So Mila's going to go ahead and do this to Ethan. She's going to go ahead and tell him that she is no longer going to be faithful to him and that maybe she is interested in other people. And this is actually in the mean interaction, which what we didn't know is actually Mila can now go ahead and tell Ethan. Mila has actually been seeing Omar behind Ethan's back. So yeah big big tea big tea spilt here guys so we can actually have um we can actually have mila go ahead and in the mean interactions she now has the information to go ahead and reveal that she is cheating on ethan so we can go ahead and actually tell ethan oh my god he's actually trying to flirt with her now um we can go ahead and actually tell ethan that she has cheated on him so he now is really angry because obviously he, um, because obviously she's confessed that she has been cheated on him, but also he is in trouble because he has multiple romances and he's gone ahead and actually confessed that he had a relationship going on with Nevaeh behind her back as well. So the whole thing is just a massive tea spill and you know what? We live for that in The Sims. So if we didn't have this mod, we wouldn't be able to celebrate all of this amazing stuff that we could do. Obviously, if you guys aren't into the whole cheating thing, you don't have to go ahead and download it. But cheating happens in real life, unfortunately, too often, much too often than it should. And it is a real thing. And obviously, I like to include it in my Sims games. I like to include it in my stories as well, because I'm definitely like a story storyteller within my games. So really, really enjoy using this mod. And obviously, if one of your Sims cheats on the other, you can always go and confess to that and stuff like that, which is, you know, it's really cool to be able to go ahead and do that. Um, and, you know, I give you loads of different interactions in the game um, and obviously that does definitely tank on your sims relationship with your other half that is a big big thing that you know there's a big big thing that happens we're gonna go ahead and have a look at our last mod which is actually all the traits in creator sim 
So what this basically does is all the traits that would normally come within the game, such as through aspirations, um, through different ways of getting them in the game, um, traits that you would definitely want within your game. Like they're all within, they're all unlocked within your game basically. So they're not like, um, they're not modded traits because they're basically just traits that you technically should have. They're just unlocked within Crazy Sim. So if we go ahead and head into the traits section. So we've got the emotionally, emotional control, which is basically they have really good emotional control and in general, their negative thoughts go away faster than others. That is a trait that actually comes with um, development through parenting, which comes with the parenthood pack. Obviously, if you don't have that parenthood pack, you won't have that trait. But mainly, obviously, you can only go ahead and get this if you've applied it within Crater Sim um, or if you play through the whole entire Sims like teenhood and stuff to be able to achieve this emotional control. If not, you can just go ahead and apply it as a trait if you feel that, that would, you know, apply to your Sim. So we've also got something like this. If you've got a sim that's maybe in a jungle adventure and they're a bit of a treasure hunter and you want them to go ahead and find better treasure, you can go ahead and make them a treasure hunter, which means they have a sharp eye and will occasionally find treasure and relics in treasure chests that other sims miss, which is really cool because they can go ahead and earn a little bit more money from that. So if you want them to be... Um, basically, it just adds a little bit more personality to your sims. All of these traits are so, so useful to have. There is loads of different things in here. Some of these traits are custom traits, so ignore some of them. Uh, but we've also got the irresponsible trait. So the irresponsible trait is basically sims are uncomfortable at work, but ignoring bills and slacking off brings them joy. They may also encounter new situations when at work as well. So there's loads of different things, loads of different traits that you can add that completely change the way that your sim sort of progresses through life, the way that their skills build, and just sort of what personality they have and the way that they interact with other sims, which I think is absolutely amazing. I think it's really, really nice to have, especially when you're creating sims, because I find that I keep creating the exact same sims all the time. And I personally like to include a lot of like negative traits on my sims, because I think it's much more fun that way. Um, when you when your sims got basically all positive traits, they're just they're just too good. They're too good. That is too easy. I love it when they've like when they've got emotion like when they've got really bad emotional control. For example, their uncontrolled emotions, which means that they have meltdowns over the simplest of things. Sometimes I'm like that. If I'm PMTing, I'm gonna have an, like a really bad emotional control. You know, that's normal for some people. So it's really nice to be able to like you know be able to like create loads of different personalities within the Sims. And personally, I really really enjoy having a lot more traits. It opens up the barriers for the Sims and allows you to get a lot more different personalities and a lot more different sims and feel like you're not creating the same sim over and over every single time we play the sims which basically is what we want we like to improve gameplay and increase we like to improve the gameplay and also the realism within this and this is the whole point of this video right so we've actually come to the end of the video and i really really hope you guys enjoy these mods if you go ahead and download them definitely let me know in the comment section what you think of them if you think that they are worth being in this video and if you think that any other mods should have been in this video go ahead and suggest them and of course if you want to go ahead and download all of them they are in the description below as always so i'm gonna go ahead and end the video off here and as always if you guys enjoyed it go ahead and leave a like on the video and if you've got any questions leave them in the comment section below and i can answer them as soon as i can and if you are new it'd be awesome if you could subscribe because obviously it helps out little family grow and if you just want to hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button you get notified every single time i upload which means you never miss one of my uploads and that is everything from me today i hope you guys have an amazing week and i will talk to you all on wednesday i love you all bye guys Bye.